Oklahoma State has done it. They have won Bedlam. Look, Kansas State couldn't get it done today. For the Cowboys, this is huge. Number one, first and foremost, massive for Mike Gundy and massive for those in Stillwater. If you're an alum, if you're a fan, if you're somebody who just loves general chaos in college football, Oklahoma may have dominated this series year in and year out, but this is the eternal scoreboard. Hey, I remember the last time we played? Oklahoma State won. That's huge for bragging rights, and this is massive for the Big 12 championship. Who's going to go to Arlington? It looks like the Sooners, after consecutive losses, won't be them. Again, Kansas State couldn't get it done against Texas today, but it doesn't mean the Big 12 still has to be a Red River rematch in the championship. And now we've pretty much defined that won't be the case. This, again, a massive win when you think historically for Oklahoma State and what it brings that program, eternal scoreboard. You can say that for the rest of your life if you're a cowboy. If you're a poke, you think about this, it might not be 50 years before these two teams play again, and you have that final victory. It's awesome. And for OU, chances of going to Arlington are slim, very, very slim. Now it's a matter of can Texas get through its final slate in the season it, it, will it be them in the championship? Will they play Oklahoma State? Will it be Iowa State? Could it be Kansas or West Virginia? There are options here. Anybody but Texas would be great, but we pretty much ruled out OU. Oklahoma State, Ollie Gordon, Alan Bowman, losing to South Alabama 33-7. And I only bring that up to show how quickly things can change for a program. What a day for Mike Gundy and company. Bedlam. That's exactly what it was. Eternal scoreboard, Oklahoma State.